Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concepts of rounding numbers, specifically how we can lay the foundations for that understanding and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So some of you might have already learned a trick about rounding numbers. Something that says if it's 5 or more the number goes up and if it's 4 or less the number stays the same. But why does that work? Well, let's just take a number. Let's just say our number is going to be 44. And so if we wanted to draw a number line, where could we place 44 on that number line? And let's say our number line went from 0 to 50. Well, first we're going to have to put some 10s in there. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So 44 is going to go somewhere over here. But let's take this chunk right here. That's 40 and 50. I'm going to kind of blow that up down here. So I'm going to draw all the way from 40 to 50. We're going to see exactly where that 44 is going to go. Now, if we wanted to split this in half, we're going to always use a 5 in the ones place because that's always going to come between two tenths. So 45 is in the middle between 40 and 50. So now I can place my 44 and it would go probably right around here, 44. So if I wanted to round a number, rounding is asking you which benchmark number is it closer to. Now in this case, the benchmark numbers that I used are the 40 and the 50. Sometimes you won't round to the tens place, sometimes you round to the hundreds place or the thousands place. But the 44 comes between these two multiples of 10. And we can see visually on our number line that the 44 is going to round to 40 because it is closer to 40. Now the reason 45 and up would move up to 50, it's pretty simple. If you put all the numbers between 40 and 50 on your number line here, you'll see our 44. You'll see that starting at 40, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers that round down to 40. 40 itself, and then 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, there are 5 numbers that round up to 50, starting at 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So these 5 numbers go up. Even though 50 is going to be on our number line, 50, remember, is going to start its own brand new line between 50 and 60. So the reason that we always say that 40, anything with a 5 in the ones place is going to go up because it starts the new set that goes up. Let's look at a different example. So let's take a larger number, 7,329. Let's see how we can round this number to the closest, either the thousands, the hundreds, or the tens place. So I'm going to start with my thousands. What I need to figure out is what are the two thousands that this number falls in between. So the thousands below it is going to be 7,000. But if I added another thousand, that would be 8,000. So these are going to be my two benchmark numbers. And 7,329 is going to fall somewhere in between these two. As always, you need to find your middle point. And in this case, half of a thousand is not going to be five like it is on the tens number line. It's going to be 500. So 7,500 or 7,500 is halfway between the two. And this is going to, as you can see, fall probably right around here because this 7,300 is going to be between 7,000 0,000s and 7,500. But what if I were to take this exact same number and I were to round it to the hundreds place? So I'm going to take a look at it this way. The two benchmark numbers are going to be 7,300, because I have a 7,000 and a 300. I'm going to make these two zeros. And then 100 more would be 7,400. So I need my midpoint here. And instead of being 500, since I'm going to the hundreds place, half of 100 is going to be 50. So now I'm looking at 7,350. Anything above that is going to go up. Anything below that is going to go down. And I've got 7,329, so this 329 is going to fall right around here. Depending on the place you're rounding to, it's closer to either 7,000 or 7,300. 